in Paris. I am very, very excited to be here. I feel like it's been years since I've been here. Honestly, I can't really remember the last time. Got the Eurostar up here this morning and I'm here with Ule Beauty, a brand that I've previously worked with on Instagram. You may have seen it and it's a really cool new skincare brand. It's a nature tech skincare brand and we're here to visit their vertical farm so that's what we're doing tomorrow we've just got here it's like 4 30 in the afternoon we've got some free time this afternoon we've got a dinner tonight and then tomorrow is the day where we're going to be learning all about the brand we're going to be visiting the farm and i'm really looking forward to going and seeing myself but also like showing you guys and like showing you more of the brand because honestly it's like fascinating i've really enjoyed using the products and learning about the brand and i just can't believe i'm actually here i know it sounds mad but every year <laughs> whenever i sit down with my management team I'm like I want to go to a factory I want to go see where products are made like I find that sort of thing so fascinating I've literally just got here I've literally just got into my room we're staying at the Madame Rev really lovely hotel I'll show you around the room we're here with a really nice group of people quite a few girls actually I don't know how many there are and I will leave actually a link down below to everyone that's on this trip with me because I know it's quite hard these days to discover new like content creators to follow and everyone on this trip seems really lovely so far some like familiar faces that I already know like Re and Emma and lots of people who I haven't met before who seem really lovely so it'd be really nice to like get to know everyone at dinner tonight I'm just buzzing to be here so lucky so grateful and excited to be able to like vlog a trip for you guys I feel like it's been a long time first things first let me show you around the hotel room okay so a little toilet in there a little wardrobe situation there and a full length mirror a massive full length mirror which i really appreciate this is what i wore to travel up in uh, my striped very comfortable top my trousers are from and other stories converse okay look at this room are you ready oh my god this is amazing it's really different this is the lovely massive bed i mean how cool is this and then i haven't even looked around yet i'm assuming this is where the kind of bathroom yes shower very nice i think i'm just gonna like quickly unpack a little bit and just take a few things out i've got like a little zip bag for all my tech film camera i want to take that out with me i think we're going to pop out this afternoon so i'm going to stay in these clothes uh for this afternoon I've got a nice outfit for dinner tonight I've got an outfit for tomorrow i'm just going to take out my makeup and pop my toiletries in the bathroom i think we're going to pop to the polen polen store i don't know if i'm saying it right but it's a handbag brand and they've got a store in paris i don't think there's any other stores anywhere else as far as i'm aware I've seen it all over TikTok. Really lovely handbags, kind of mid price range. And I just thought while I'm here, I'm gonna go and see them in real life and see what I think because I've had my eye on a couple of the styles, but I'm not 100% sure I really like to kind of touch things and see them in real life. So I think I'm gonna pop there. Re, who's also on this trip, she said when she has been to Paris before, she has had the most unreal deep fried olives. I love pickles, I love like interesting food she said these are the best deep fried olives she's had in her life i've never had a deep fried olive before so um we are gonna go hunt those down with our spare time that we've got this afternoon i can't wait Ginny, who's the head of pr from space nk is also on this trip because ule beauty is stocked at space nk so it's really lovely spending time with her and we're gonna go out and have some fun i need to check my phone because i feel like they're probably whatsapping me telling me i need to get down to the lobby right now okay i just got a message from Ree saying that there was deep fried olives in the bar downstairs i don't understand why this is this isn't even the bar you were talking about why is this a thing in paris that everywhere does deep fried olives i'm really confused i feel like a bit like i'm dreaming wow it's they're big yeah it looks like um go in take a bite go for it that's what that looks like a croquette. Couldn't think of the word. All right. Oh, Apparently, it has meat in it. I'm a bit confused. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, see. See. Mm. Another person recruited. Yeah. I mean, anything deep fried <laughs> yeah. is good. What sort of meat is it? Do we know? I, mean, I can't tell you. It's a beef. Deep fried beef olives. Can't say it sounds great, does it? <laughs> it it is good. Mmm. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I mean, it's I think you've eaten the olive oil of it, no? Yeah. It's just the beef. 
we are outside Palen. I've managed to convince um, Jane, Ree and Ginny to come with me, who have all decided in the queue, there's a queue, I can't believe there's a queue, honestly, this is TikTok's fault. They've all decided they also want to buy handbags. <laughs> They've never even like heard of the brand. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a that nice one. one. That is the one. <gasps> like that, yeah. Okay, I like that one. The longer we queue, the more we... Um, <laughs> That's are convincing that's ourselves that, that we definitely oh, yeah, need a handbag. That's that one there. Yeah, nice. I feel like this is the tactic of the queue. Sorry, Look, that, is, that is a nice one. You're not ruining the vlog. You're adding to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok research over here. Well, that was a bizarre experience. I'd seen the brand online and the bags look really nice. So I thought while I'm here, I'll just go check them out. And obviously there was that massive queue, but we all were kind of like, well, we're here, let's queue, let's see. But once you get into the store, there's not much there. And I was like, maybe they're sold out of everything. But then I asked, I was like, do you have this bag? And they said, yes, we've got it in white and taupe. And they said, oh, we have to get it for you. You have to queue up and then request what bag you want to see. Once you've queued outside to get in, then you then have to queue again inside to see the bag. And then if you want it, you queue to pay. I mean, that's a bit crazy, right? Anyway, I don't have much time to get ready now. We are going for dinner. We're going to Cafe Mali. I've been there before. It's lovely. It's in a really gorgeous position and the food is great. I'm gonna just like add to my makeup, I think. Let's see if this works. I haven't actually looked. I feel like I need a little bit more foundation. I don't really like doing this. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab the Hulé Beauty uh, Balancing Floral Mist. Let's just spritz this. I feel like I haven't got that much makeup left on me anyway. So if I kind of... Oh, that's gonna like wake up my skin a bit. And then I think I'm just gonna like touch up my makeup. Going for smart, casual vibe. I was gonna bring a dress, but I don't know. I just, in the end, I went for this like long top from And Other Stories, high-waisted jeans, blazer, and my Chanel bag. So hopefully that will look nice. I'm gonna just do my makeup now and my hair. Just like add in a few more waves and then I'll come back to you guys. I'm ready for dinner. I've literally just like, actually I don't think I even did anything to my hair in the end. I put a bit of hair cream in, touched up my makeup, put on like a kind of brownie 90s lip. I'm quite into this at the moment. My blazer is from Zara. Black top and other stories, showed you before. Black belt, don't remember, maybe Arquette. High waisted jeans, which don't look as bright blue as they seem to look in camera. And then I'm wearing, can you see? Mm, probably not. Suzanne heeled snake, faux snake skin um, boots. So ready for a yummy dinner, good chats, nice drinks. It was absolutely pouring down with rain a minute ago. Like it's all glass roof here and it was so much rain, but seems to have kind of settled down now. I think everyone's downstairs at the bar having a drink. I've also added some nice big chunky gold earrings and a little necklace. And I'm going to take my Chanel bag, of course, because we're in Paris. How could I not? I can either wear this long or like a double, or sometimes I just hold it. But I think, I think this is a double situation. What do you guys think? My Paris dinner appropriate? Okay, I need to go downstairs because everyone's down there. Come with me, let's go have some dinner. I just put the Ginny, where are we going for dinner? Cafe Marley. <laughs> I actually don't know how far it is. Do you know how far it is? It's not far, but it is oh, raining close. and we don't need to get wet. Have you pre-looked at the menu to decide what to have? I've been there before and I've had the exactly the same thing as what I had Which was steak yeah. and mashed potato. I've heard about this mashed potato. If it looks shit, dream about it forever. I'm excited. <laughs> It's bright and early in Paris. We had such a lovely evening. We had like a private room with a big table. Had the most insane mashed potato that I've ever eaten in my life. I wouldn't even say I'm a big mashed potato fan, but this was like the creamiest, smoothest, butteriest, delicious mashed potato. If you ever get the chance to go to Cafe Marley, try the mashed potato. I need to pack up this morning because we are checking out. I feel like I've barely been in this hotel. It's been a super speedy trip, but today is like the day on this press trip. 
So I've just been getting ready, packing up. I did my skincare this morning and I did use um, some of my Ule Beauty products. I used the cleanser. This is called the Rev of Pure Cleanser. This is a lovely cleanser. It's a gel cleanser, which is like one of my favorite formulas for cleansing my skin. I also used the serum, which they left in our room, which I do have at home. This is the Tua Clear. So it's a regulating serum. Love, I love the little packaging. It really takes up like no room when you're traveling, which I really appreciate. So I used this, which is lovely. Last night before bed, I used the Avoir It All, and I'm gonna be chatting to you about this in a moment. This is what it looks like. So I need to get on and do my makeup because I said I was gonna meet some of the girls downstairs for breakfast. I do normally get breakfast in my room just to like give me more time to get ready, but I don't really know what I want today and I feel like it'll be nice to have breakfast downstairs. So just adding lots of hydration to my skin. Oh, I also put on, obviously after my serum, I put on a moisturizer, SPF. The skin is feeling good at the moment. Does it look good? It feels good. I need to go for a laser hair removal top up. I think I'm going next week. There's just like a few hairs that have grown back, but oh, I'm so happy with it. Okay, let's see if I can do my makeup whilst chatting to you guys. So today we are going to the Ule Beauty Vertical Farm. If you've never heard of a vertical farm, I was just about to say I'd really recommend looking on the Ule Beauty website because that's what I did, but actually you don't need to because I'm literally going there today and I'm gonna be showing you guys. It's so, so clever. I'm really fascinated by the whole concept. Me and Rich were chatting about it the other day and it's just, it's so interesting seeing how like the beauty industry is developing, how things are changing and how some brands like Ule Beauty here really like paving the way. So a vertical farm, as far as I'm aware, I mean I will show you when I get there, it's all indoors and they grow all the plants, all the ingredients for their products vertically, so high. So it like takes up less space, it's not like fields and fields of things. Ule Beauty have something called the Botany Blend and it's a mix of ingredients that is featured in all of their products. I hope I'm saying it right, but it's a combination of Tulsi, Coleus and Cantella. So those three make up the Botany Blend and they grow those plants at the vertical farm. So one of the great things about vertical farming is that because it's a more controlled environment they are able to use almost all of the plant instead of just like the leaves instead of just little parts they can really utilize like the whole plant in their products they can also control the conditions so it's like the perfect condition condition for growing the plants, which therefore like gives more consistent quality to the products. It's also much more sustainable and all like fully traceable. It's really, really clever. And we're going to the farm today to have a look. It's like a full on, like I think we've got to put overalls on and you know, it's a, it's a, it's where they're growing their ingredients. It's like, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see it all. We're going to be having lunch on the farm. I don't know what we're going to be eating, but it sounds like it's going to be a lovely lunch. And in our lunch, they're going to be using Avoir It All. Now this is their oil. It's an in and out nurturing phyto oil. So I use this on my skin last night. I just put like a dropper on my hand. It's a really gorgeous, like nourishing oil, really lovely. But what's so interesting is it's an in and out. So this can be taken internally or externally. So they're gonna be using this oil in our lunch today. This oil is so nice. It helps to improve dryness and skin resilience. And it's all about beauty inside and out. When I went to the launch of Ule Beauty, they also put it in the meal. It's not something I could taste at all. And yeah, it was nice to know there was like extra added goodness in there. Okay, I'm gonna finish off my makeup because I am being way too slow and then I'll come back to you. So I'm just wearing a white t-shirt from Arquette and my Arquette jeans and then this blue shirt is from October Editions which is the men's Suzanne. I feel like this is kind of like sciencey chic like comfortable practical. Uh, wearing my Converse as well which you can't really see. And then we're going straight to the Eurostar so I've got my Suzanne handbag and then I kind of this is a Chloe bag from years ago, I just kind of plonked that on my suitcase. And that is me, ready to go. So let's go downstairs and get some breakfast because I am so hungry. I'm thinking some kind of like avocado on toast, maybe some eggs. Got myself a coffee, peanut orange juice, and 
this little basket of pastries. And then I think when everyone else arrives, I'll get an avocado on toast. For an avocado on toast with a poached egg, so it is shall. massive and okay. it looks amazing. We've just got in the car. Hi, Ree. Oh, Ree, like you haven't been on the vlog yet. <laughs> I'm like this. We're, <laughs> we're making Ree go backwards. <laughs> Look, we've got cute little things on the chair. We've got a little itinerary of the day. Okay, We've got a little mini, a mini mist. Very excited about that. Um, we've got, we've got a, a very refreshing drink, and most excitedly, a bandana. I'm not. I feel like. Can I pull off the band? This is very me in the 90s. Especially, yes, Jane. Right in there. Jim Love it! <laughs> yes, Ginny! Yes, the mini miss. Oh, that's so cute. Ginny's going. Yeah, it's a mini miss. It's really going to suit you. I feel like it is going to suit you. This is. Do you know what? This for postpartum hair is going to be the one. <laughs> oh, and now we're talking. Yes, Ree. <laughs> 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 oh my God! Sorry, I need to open this miss. It's a full moment. It is. Um, We are having this delicious drink. Pom, citron, apple, lemon, and orange flower. Sorry, good French translation from me there. It's delicious. And now we've broken off into two different groups. First group, my group, we're going to the farm to see the products getting made. And then afterwards, we're doing like a little cookery course type thing. It's so beautiful here. It smells incredible. Like the minute I walked in, I could just smell it. It's so good. Got to put these on my shoes. Feels like I'm taking Gray for a swimming lesson. Gorgeous look. We're getting all robed up. Final item for the full <laughs> sexy look. Wait, how do you have to like scoop your hair up? Well, isn't there a trick you're meant to like blow them? Ready? I'm ready. Oh my gosh, this to... is a look. This room is called the grow room and this is basically where all the production takes place. I cannot tell you how amazing it smells, like so fresh and like green. <laughs> Very fashionable. So you're wearing the hat, the gloves, and the coat to keep everything like clean and sterile. They cut off this bottom part, the roots, and then the top, and then they, it can regrow again, right? Okay, so this is where the plant starts. You can see it's all small, and then you can see what it turns into. So all of these lights mean it's like a super controlled environment. It's got fans, it's got water. The temperature's a bit warmer in here. It's more of like a tropical climate. So this, this is the control room where they control. So like tech is so important for this brand, and it's all controlled from this room, but they can also do it remotely, like from their phones on the weekends. So if anything goes wrong, you can see on the screen, they've got like all the different, where they're growing everything and it can all be controlled, the temperature and everything, it's so clever. Also, they were just saying, instead of pesticides, if they get little bugs or anything, they just use ladybirds to like, them all up and then they obviously make sure they're all clean and everything before they harvest sorry is this the nursery, the nursery. oh my gosh cute newborns so when they do the cuttings from the other room they come in here and then this is sponge it's not soil it's sponge and then once they're developed they can go back in the other room <laughs> It's yeah. our turn to do a little um, cookery course thing here. So I'll be in the vlog. Can you tell me, because you've just done the cooking thing. We have so just done the cooking thing. what did thing. you make? So you make like a Vietnamese spring roll, <gasps> but it's all healthy ingredients. Oh, I love that. And then you get to put the avoir et all oil, which is that oil that you can use on your skin. In it. And, and you said it was delicious. It was so good. I'm so hungry. It was like miso-y yeah. goodness. Yeah, oh my God, that sounds right so up good. my street. And okay. I also did not expect it to taste that good. Oh my God. I was delicious. like, <laughs> so it's too healthy for me. And then I had it and I was like, ah. This is you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the books as well. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Love it. You got how many? Eight books or something? Eight, eight, eight cookbooks eight? and two, uh, two more, so ten. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Eight from on. <laughs> 
This looks like, which one? This, this looks like the first plant. Oh, Tulsi. Or like basil. Basil. Mmm, <laughs> that smells like basil. So when it's colorful, you go for it. The more colorful your, your, your vegetables are, the better they are for your health and the, the better they help into the anti-aging process uh, because they're full of antioxidants. <laughs> Depending where you put the things, you can see the colour through. So I've got raspberries, pickled beetroot. This one, for some reason, is longer. This one's smaller. I'm going to go for the first one that I made. Taste test time. So easy. I'm definitely going to make these at home. Oh, I will. Mm. Wow. And uh, from the inside, there's something I really like as well. Is that there's um, in the bourrache oil, it's it's very it's part of the few seeds that has omega three like a linen seeds and omega-3 normally you know you find in the fish or, mm -hmm. and uh, our brains really ne need this grease, this fat to, 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 be, uh, to, to work well. Time has come to head home. We had such a lovely lunch. I have had the most amazing 24 hours. I feel like I should end my, end my vlog here because I'm going to go on the train and then go home, hi right? Hi, guys. <laughs> Say hi. I said I'd link everyone down below, by the way, I've been on the oh. trip with. I was like, I'm going to, it's so hard to find people to follow, yeah, isn't it? So I was yeah. like, I'm going to link everyone down below that's been on this trip. Wait, I don't feel, I'm not ready to end the vlog. I'm going to do it in a bit. I'm going to end the vlog because I know we're going to go on the Eurostar, then I'm going to get home. It's going to be chaos with the kids. It's better to end here on a high. It has been such a nice 24 hours in Paris. So fascinating being able to visit the farm and see everything grow and how it all works. And yeah, it's just been really, really lovely. Um, I hope it's been interesting for you guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out the description box. I'm going to put all the links, everything. I don't know, everything I've mentioned, anyone I've been with, anywhere I've been, and of course the link to Ulay Beauty. Please leave me a comment. If you've made it all the way to the end of this vlog, leave me a comment and let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.